Hi folks, Dave at Creative Craft House to show you a new model of our round key maze. This is something typically used by escape rooms and uh, we have a kind of a standard model. Uh, it's the same thing except this one has a couple of interesting features. It has uh, locks. Now what you're trying to do here is we've got this um, man here. He's stuck there in the middle and there's a key that's attached to this. In order to use this key somewhere else in the room you've got to manipulate through this maze. It's fairly complex, kind of fun. Um, there's only one solution and it, it takes a little takes a roundabout path to get there. Uh, there is an exit uh, over here and when you come out then this whole assembly which stays together, this key will not come off, the, the wire key ring um, you uh, can insert your own key. You would just screw this on and either crush it with pliers or glue it with the super glue. Very easy to do. And we do provide, uh, there is the option of buying additional men with key rings so that you can have as many different keys as you like. Now, typically in the standard board, you would run through the path. These locking mechanisms don't exist. But this adds a whole new twist to the game. You can use them or not use them. If they're not in play, then this will go right past the locking mechanism and continue on its journey uh, out, the, out the maze. However, it is possible for you to two lock that. We provide uh, two keys, and note each key is different. This one is keyed one way, and this key one is keyed another way, and the keys are identified. There's a number on on the uh, on each key. I don't know if you can I don't know if you can see it there but where you're going to use even number here and an odd number here um, so you can quickly tell which one goes. But if this is uh, inserted let me try to do this uh, left-handed here, hold on, be patient it now there's a little mechanism in here that turns a lever and this will not go by there until such time as the people in the room can find this key and unlock that lock so it becomes a two-stage and possibly a, a three-stage process. This key could be hidden in a puzzle box or somewhere in the room, and when found, uh, this can be unlocked. And now the, now the key man can come through the maze and potentially get all the way to the end. Now, if you choose to lock this also, different key, of course, if you choose to lock that also, then he won't be able to get all the way out until they find this key. Okay, so lots of creative potential for you here. Um, you can use those locks or not use the locks or use both or, or, or just one of the locks. And you can change up, of course, um, where you put those locks over time if you want to change up your room a bit. The maze becomes very versatile. This is a very, very rugged maze. Um, we, it's, it's a one-piece construction with a backing. We use thick plywood, this beautiful maple. Um, finish on the outside and we uh, CNC route it from the back side so this, these will not pull off uh, and this uh, handle has a, a metal uh, metal insert uh, for the man so it's just um, I can't hate to say impossible to break but it's extremely rugged and we have not had any reported breakage for the ones out in the field of the uh, standard model Okay, hope this is something you'll find uh, useful and fun. Uh, made right here in our Hudson, Florida shop. This is Dave at Creative Craft House and creativeescaperooms.com. Thank you now.